hold the ball at a slight angle of the ground, say about 20 degrees, and at the same time, angle the ball into your hand so when it hits your foot, it's on an angle across the seam of the ball. And make sure you kick the ball with the inside of your foot on the area marked torpedo. When kicked correctly, the torpedo will spin in a fashion just like this. OK, now it's your turn. All right, Marcus, with the torpedo, what we're going to be trying to do, firstly, is hold the, the, the football over the right-hand side of the body, over the right leg, OK? We have the torpedo, because you're a right footer, on your right-hand side. So, fingers well spread, your left hand at the top of the ball, right hand at the back of the football, slightly tilted, OK, and 20 degrees held down to the ground, OK? Now, the area on your foot we're going to be trying to kick, if you look down here, is basically going across the boot about the third or, or fourth lace up from the bottom okay so basically that's your torpedo oh great kick Torpedo and drop punt kicks have been a part of football for a very long time. The boomerang, check side or banana is a new kick. It has only just been recently developed and it is used for kicking for goal from short distances from sharp angles. So how you hold the ball is in an opposite fashion to a torpedo. As an example, if you're a right footer in the right forward pocket, your right hand should be placed at the top of the ball, left hand at the back of the ball. So you aim for the far goal post, not for the middle of the goals. The ball is dropped to an angle to the boot, okay? For right footers, you're kicking to the right hand side of the boomerang. For left footers, naturally we're using the left hand side of the ball. And make sure you follow through. Now when kicked correctly, as a right footer, the ball should swing from left to right. As a left footer, it should go from right to left. OK, let's see how you go. OK, a few things to remember when kicking the boomerang is to hold it opposite to a torpedo punt, OK? And the area we're trying to kick is the right-hand side. You, Chris, being a right, right footer, naturally, that's the area we have to use. Again, it's held on an angle and it's dropped on an angle onto the boot. Now, the area on the boot we're trying to kick is across this area right here is just across the bottom of the laces, just above the laces here, in this area in here. So it's virtually the corner of the boot. With our target, we aim for the far goal post when shooting for goal, not so much the middle. And again, follow through. It is the key to it, stay relaxed and follow through. Yes! Well done! Handball is an important part of our great game. In recent years, it's been used far more often and effectively in games of football, starting with coaches way back in the 70s like the great Ron Barassi. In fact, it has changed the game so much that teams these days are having more handballs and kicks. And one of the better handballers in the league at this moment is Greg Williams, who can handball equally as good with either hand. Just like you're kicking, your handball needs just as much attention. And the basics of handballing when starting out are just to stand side onto your target, okay, so that we've got, as a right hander, a free movement. And it's easier for me to just handball the ball away. And no doubt, opposite hand, as a left hander, virtually the same, okay? So that my left hand is free to handball and standing side on to the target. Keep your hands and wrists firm 
and point the ball at the target. And hit the ball at the other end with a clenched fist and make sure you follow through. Remember, once you've sighted your target, keep your eyes on the ball. Now let's see how you go. To learn a basic style, you stand side onto your target so that your punching arm can swing freely. For a right-hander, you grip the ball firmly on the flat of your left hand, while your right arm should be bent at the elbow. Keep your hands and wrists firm and point the ball at your target and hit the ball at the other end with a clenched fist and make sure you follow through. And remember, once you've sighted your target, you then keep your eyes on the ball. Well done. There is obviously a lot more to learn, but if you master what we've just been through, you're off to a great start. And with the goal master, you have everything at your feet and hands to become a much better footballer. Say that I was lucky. Yeah, and the more I practice, the luckier I got.